Today I am performing an experiment titled to study the effect of salivary amylase on starch. So that is the requirement. We require starch solution, then buffer solution, iodine, then test tube, test tube stand, water bath, thermometer. So these are all the requirements. So first of all I will take three test tubes as test tube 1, 2 and 3. So let's start with the practical. As I said, I'll be taking three test tubes. Test tube 1, 2 and 3. In all the three test tubes, I'm taking 5 ml of starch solution. It's approximately 5 ml. So you can see over here, I'm taking 5 ml of starch solution in all the three test tubes. After taking 5 ml of star solution, I'll be taking 3 ml of buffer solution, uh, pH will be 6.7 in all the 3 test tubes. So starch and buffer is common in all the 3 test tubes, 5 ml of starch and 3 ml of buffer. That is pH number 6.7, it is the optimum pH where there is maximum enzymatic activity. Now I am taking buffer solution, 3 ml of buffer solution in all the 3 test tube. Then in test tube number 1, I will take salivary amylase. So please note, salivary amylase will be added in test tube number 1. So I have taken 2 ml of salivary amylase in test tube number 1. So test tube number 1 contains star solution plus buffer solution plus 2 ml of salivary amylase. In test tube number 2, I am taking 2 ml of distilled water. And in test tube number 3, I have taken distilled water. Please note, along with distilled water, in test tube number 3, I am taking dilute SCL. So please note, test tube number 3, Along with distilled water, I have taken dilute SCL. Now, I will keep all the three test tubes in water bath for around 15 minutes at 37 degree Celsius. And I will check the temperature with the help of thermometer. 37 degree temperature, here there is maximum enzymatic activity. So now 15 minutes are over. To all the three test tubes, I will be adding 2 drops of iodine. So let's start now. So now in test tube number 1, I have taken 2 drops of iodine. And you can see there is no change in color. Because salivary amylase enzyme act on starch and breaks into disaccharide. So since there is no starch, you will not get bluish black color. So in test tube number 1, we have taken starch solution plus buffer solution plus salivary amylase, heat it for 15-20 minutes and add it 2 drops of iodine. There is no change in color. Now in second test tube, I will add iodine. So after adding iodine, see the color. I've got bluish black color means starch is present. I haven't taken salivary amylase to so starch combined with iodine and we got bluish black color. So in second test tube, I've taken starch solution plus buffer solution plus distilled water, heated in water bath for 15 minutes and then I added iodine. I got bluish black color. Due to absence of salivary amylase, starch was not broken. The starch combined with iodine and we got bluish black color. Now in test tube number 3, I have taken iodine. So here there is no bluish black color. Umber color can be seen. Since here we have taken SCL. So XCL works as a catalyst, it works as an enzyme, it breaks starch into monosaccharide. 
तो सिंस देर इज नो स्टार्च यू विल नॉट गेट ब्लूइश ब्लैक कलर तो यू कैन सी द थ्री टेस्ट ट्यूब्स टेस्ट ट्यूब नंबर वन इट इज वाइट कलर बिकॉज यू हैव एडिड सलाइवरी अमाइल एज स्टेप यू कैन सी अ टेस्ट ट्यूब नंबर टू वी हैवेंट टेकन सलाइवरी अमाइल एज तो स्टार्च इज नॉट ब्रोकन डाउन सो वेन वी एडिड आयोडीन वी गेट ब्लूइश ब्लैक कलर इन थर्ड वी हैव टेकन डायल्यूट एस सी एल इट वर्क एज अ एनजाइन तो स्टार्च वॉज ब्रोकन डाउन टू मोनोसेकराइट यू विल नॉट गेट ब्लूइश ब्लैक कलर सो ओनली इन टेस्ट ट्यूब नंबर टू वी गॉट ब्लूइश ब्लैक कलर इन टेस्ट ट्यूब नंबर वन ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ सलाइवरी अमाइलेज एंड टेस्ट ट्यूब नंबर थ्री ड्यू टू डायल्यूट एस सी एल स्टार्च वॉज ब्रोकन डाउन 